Hello everyone, welcome back to People Playground. My name is Kenan, and I have a really big problem. My best friend in the entire world has been tied to a chair above this pool of acid. You know him, as Blitz, the gaming YouTuber. I need help getting him down. You have two choices. I have a feeling that one of these might hurt Blitz, but the other will help me rescue him. If we all press this like button, it will unlock this tool. Let's try. Oh no 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 no, this was a disintegration beam. It deletes everything it touches, including Blitz. Thankfully we can reload this simulation and try again. If you are a new viewer and haven't kept this button before, make sure you subscribe now to save Blitz. And finally a tool I can use. I'll just simply aim at that floor, and fire. And maybe, maybe, it'll break. Oh there it goes. Oh Blitz fell. I must do what every friend does and go in after him. I will rescue you. Quick. Tie a rope to him. And drag him back out to safety. He'll make it. He'll be alive. Are you okay? Are you okay Blitz? I've got something that might help friend. Here. Have that. Ow, ow, down and Ono come back. There. You are rescued. Wow Kevin, thank you so much for rescuing me, how could I ever repay you? You can start by checking out today's sponsor, which is a game called Perfect World Revolution. And I'd like to thank a game called Perfect World Revolution for sponsoring this video. If you haven't heard about this new free-to-play mobile game before, it is a MMORPG where you can switch between seven different classes, join guilds, and wage massive wars in cross-server dungeons. And since it's part of the Perfect World games, it retains the same classic elements of the original Perfect World, so it might look a little bit familiar to you. And did I mention that this is one of the best vertical MMOs that I've played? It's actually easier to play this game with one hand than it is to play it with two hands, and that's one of the biggest complaints I've had about a lot of mobile games is that you have to use both of your hands at all the times, the controls are always wonky and weird, but this game is so much easier for me to explore and conquer the dungeons because I can just play it with one hand, and the controls are really solid. So if you are interested in helping out my channel and want to play Perfect World Revolution, make sure you click on that link down below in the video description to pre-register for the game. You'll get a bunch of rewards, and you can even participate in an event on their social media sites for a chance to win a brand new iPhone and a bunch of gift cards. Alright, what did you guys think of that intro? A little bit different a little bit fun took us a couple hours to put that together and you know it was it was pretty exciting like to do i did see a comment a few people playground videos ago saying i should try something like that and have kevin do the intro rather than blitz doing the intro and i thought it'd be fun to do unfortunately i couldn't find the comment back in the couple of thousand that have been done recently on those videos but shout out to you for the great idea and Here's another great idea. That's a hydrogen tank, my dudes. And then we can have the gas pipe and watch this. Kevin gets to have more fun because he turns into a balloon. <laughs> He's so excited. He likes doing stuff like this. Ready? <laughs> I don't know what's so funny about that. Oh, he just floats up and away. <laughs> Where'd he go? <laughs> oh, look. He's trying to fly. I gotta follow him. <laughs> oh, what happens if he hits it? He must be going pretty... Oh, he's not going very fast at all. Kevin, what did I tell you about trying to run away? We're just trying to do science experiments here. I wonder if adding a hole to Kevin will make him go away. Nope, that didn't quite work. We'll put one in his back. Um, that's not the right button. This is the button I want. All right. No, he, he continues to float. So there's no way to get him to stop leaking. Air but he's leaking Kool-Aid juice. Don't worry, he's still alive, he likes it. Also, you guys might have recognized there is a new fusion bomb. This thing is in the default mode of the game. This is a new item that's supposed to be even stronger than the nuke. We're gonna totally have to test this thing out today. But it got me thinking. I know, it doesn't happen very often that I think, but it could be fun if we tried this. If we fill up our friends here, turn these little crash test dummies into balloons, and then we could attach the balloons to the top of the nuke thing, whatever it's called, and maybe they can get it to float. All right, let's try it. Ready? Get set. Activate. Oh, they're they're puffing up. How many how many Kevin's does it take to float a nuke? Okay, we're gonna delete these things quick. Oh, it's getting close. <laughs> hey, it's off the ground. Wow. <laughs> This is really weird. <laughs> All right, how does five more look? Looking pretty solid. 
looking pretty good. Probably shouldn't need too much more. Yeah, that might do it. Okay, we'll delete this. There we go! <laughs> this is the weirdest version of Up in the history of, like, TV and cinema. Wow. I don't know if I like that. It's a little bit cursed. Like, this is one of those SCPs that doesn't exist yet, but probably never should. So if I slow it down and we use this fusion bomb, we can get rid of everything. Oh, that's in slow motion. Oh, that's a huge explosion. Oh my word. Whoa. Oh, that's pretty cool. I need one of these, like in real life. No, I don't need one in real life. Hot dang, that's explosive. Why do, why would you even, no, that's, I don't need that. What is this? Oh, that's the hydrogen tank. Wow, it's glowing hot. Nobody, nobody needs a fusion bomb. Not even the militaries of the world. That's too deadly. Now, speaking of deadly, check this thing out. Somebody made like an all out galleon or some, what is it called? Destructible wooden man of war. Oh yeah, that's amazing. Look at this, full of like firecrackers and explosives. I have to know, does it float? I mean, the game, freezes so that's going for us but it seems that things probably don't happen correctly if you try to make it float like that so kind of looks like might have crashed the game oh there it is <laughs> oh came back are we good now no but i do want to try it one more time because i'm kind of a glutton for punishment and i really think this thing is cool oh it made it is it gonna float without exploding this time it looks like it. Yes! Oh, that's amazing! Look at that ship bobbing in the water. I need to slow down the simulation. Oh, that is so cool! That must have taken an insane amount of time to balance properly. Okay, it doesn't travel, I don't think. We could put some people on it. it even sounds, if you listen closely, it's even creaking. Like a real ship might be. Are these barracks in here? How cool is this place? I totally want to put somebody down in here and then blast like one explosive to make it all explode without without it exploding. Okay, we're just gonna we're gonna pop one of these in slow motion mode to see how this thing explodes and see what the aftermath is. Okay, the first one blew up, no chain reaction, but we're gonna have a chain reaction here. Oh, you see the pressure wave? Okay, we'll do one of these down here. Oh. Oh, that pressure wave is pretty cool. The front of the ship blew up. That's amazing. Uh-oh. The fireworks are going off. I think it's sinking. This is the part of Pirates of the Caribbean that you didn't see. Wow. The game is like crying right now though. So I think I should let it stabilize and see what happened to the ship afterwards. Except the fireworks are still going off. The anchor is flying super high up in the air. That's so cool. There had to have been a lot of fireworks down in the hull of this thing. Oh, and now it's all on fire. Oh, more explosions. I think it's sinking. It's kind of an understatement. All right, that's really cool looking. The whole burning ship thing. That's pretty amazing. So I am, I am very pleased with that man of war. Well done. Now there's also a large amount of Deserialization error. Contraption is incompatible. I don't know what this is, but definitely doesn't work right. <laughs> so does this one work? Oh, balls. That was gonna be the whole video. It's a space station. I was gonna blow it up with a fusion bomb. Like I had this cool thing that doesn't even work either. <laughs> uh, maybe it's missing a mod. I'll be right back. Yeah, it totally, totally helps if you download the prerequisite mod. Look at this. It's a copper rocket. I don't know how to use it. Maybe it would help if I like did research and stuff before I started derping around with things. Okay, L does that button. Over here is, hello, J, L and J. It's like names for people. Okay, I bet I, oh! <laughs> I definitely is the, the uppy button. Oh, it exploded, that's exciting. Okay, maybe we should take it in slow motion and then we'll do I. I, oh yeah, well that's kind of cool. Uh huh. Oh, dirty, look at that. We got ourselves a copper rocket. I don't know why you'd want to make a, a rocket out of copper. And then hopefully the Black Sail space station also works. I haven't actually looked at this one yet. 
please spawn. Oh, it works. Oh, that's so cool. Wow, that's actually really crisp. Look at that. We got guards here. Oh, how cool. This is like in the medic bay. Oh, this guy's down here like changing light bulbs or something. <laughs> I don't know what he does. <laughs> we got, oh, neat. Is there something in the middle? I knew there would be. It's like the, the ray to keep it working. Uh-huh, this guy, he's got like a, a Coke bottle, doing doing Coke bottle things. How cool is this mod? Well done. You know what we need to do though? So what do you think? Could I try to retrofit this copper rocket to have the new fusion bomb on it to blow up the space station? It's worth a try. It is, it's worth a try. All I need to do is resize this bad boy just slightly, make it a little bit bigger little bit a little bit bigger okay that looks pretty good stop resizing this thing's really cool by the way i really love how it's designed and then there's something interesting here too it's not connected but it's connected so i think i'm just gonna leave that in there and then just you know disable collision make that weightless and just kind of like tack it on just kind of you know straight up duct tape it <laughs> some people in the comments are like blitz doesn't even know how to play the game he just uses duct tape for everything yeah, you're right. <laughs> I know how to play the game, but it's funny you're just to duct tape things on. That's not even working there. Yeah, just strapping a bomb on with duct tape. It's not even duct tape. Why is Blitz playing this game? He's not even calling the names right. I know, I read your comments. We also probably need one of these, like an external activation station. We'll just slap that on there. Change this key to like U or something dumb. And then we'll make that weightless and disable collision. And then beautiful. Quickly, Kevin, I need your assistance. Get the coordinates for the space station for the guys who kidnapped me in the beginning of the video. Bah, 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 bah. He's doing it. He's working so hard right now. Okay, he did it. He found me the coordinates. We've locked in the satellite dish. The rocket is ready to go. We're gonna slow it down so we can take off properly. There we go. It is activated. Space station is dead ahead. I can turn it slightly. That looks so stinking cool, doesn't it? We're setting up this copper plated missile. Oh, there's there's like whatever those things are called. Oh, those are deterrent. Oh, they have propeller blades. How amazing. Okay, we are going to hold up. I need to follow you. Hey, 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 no, 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 don't leave me. Oh, we're getting close. Hot dang, we're about to blow up the space station. And Oh, 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 look at the solar flare, the solar panels. Oh, that is so cool. That is a gigantic explosion from the new fusion bomb too. Wow. <laughs> oh, that is so amazing. Okay, speed it up. I want to see the aftermath of our missile. I just kind of lodged in there. <laughs> and this thing's like, wee, that was fun. Make sure you check out Perfect World Evolution down below in the video description. And thanks again for watching. Keep your stick on the ice. We'll catch you next time. And I'd like to thank everyone who signed up on Patreon, including Ben, Ellen Hagen, Dickie James, Apollo Bunny, Otto Dave, Eagle Arc, Whip It Good, Seraphin X, Des Bogger, Maxer, Sarnoff, Legacy, Jason McFarland, Deegan, Paul Longstone, and Ralph. And everyone who has clicked that join button down below to become a YouTube channel member. Why is this spaceship... It's supposed to be blown up. Oh well.